there are two main superficial veins of the upper limb, the basilic vein and the cephalic vein. Both of them arise from the dorsal venous arch, which lies on the dorsum of hand, and it has a network aspect. From the medial end of the dorsal venous arch arises the basilic vein, and from the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch arises the cephalic vein. First, we will discuss about the basilic vein. The basilic vein begins as the continuation of the medial end of the dorsal venous arch of the hand. It runs upwards along the back of the medial border of the forearm, winds round this border near the elbow to reach the anterior aspect of the forearm, where it continues upwards in front of the elbow and then along the medial side of the biceps brachii up to the middle of the arm, where it pierces the deep fascia and unites with the brachial veins to become continuous with the axillary vein at the lower border of the teres major. From the radial aspect of the dorsal venous arch, the cephalic vein arches around the radial aspect of the forearm to course through the anterolateral forearm. It then passes upwards over the anterior elbow region and ascends laterally to the biceps muscle to reach the deltopectoral groove. The vein then perforates the clavipectoral fascia to drain into the axillary vein. Now we are in a position to indicate an important communicating venous channel between basilic and cephalic veins. This venous channel begins from the cephalic vein, few centimeters below the elbow bend, runs obliquely upwards and medially to end in the basilic vein. This venous communication is called the median cubital vein. We have one more vein to indicate, the median antebrachial vein. This vein drains the venous plexus on the palmar surface of the hand and runs upwards in the midline of the anterior aspect of forearm to end usually in the median cubital vein or in the basilic vein. Sometimes the upper end of median antebrachial vein bifurcates into a median cephalic vein which joins the cephalic vein and a median basilic vein which joins the basilic vein. In this situation the median cubital vein is absent. Thus the veins in front of the elbow commonly form two patterns. An age-shaped pattern when the median cubital vein is present and an M-shaped pattern when the upper end of the median antebrachial vein bifurcates.